Hi, I'm Laura, the ADHD mama. Have you ever asked your kid, why did you do that? Well, this video's for you. A lot of ADHDers have problem with impulse control, like putting a fork in a light socket or maybe hurting someone else. That's not a good idea either. No matter how mad you are, it could look like overeating, seeing a cookie and not having the impulse control to stop yourself from eating it. It could be detrimental, like spending too much money. Or it could be silly, like, I wonder what a potato tastes like. Oh, oh, poor decision. Or buying stuff that you don't need. No, Laura, you do not need another elf dress. How many elf dresses do you need? See, not all impulse control issues are bad. Sometimes this impulse control can result in amazing creative things, like a beautiful painting or some other creative craftiness. It could be helpful, like cleaning your house. Have you ever asked your child, why did you do that? And gotten this response? Mm -hmm. You're not alone. This is a fairly common ADHD issue. See, an ADHD brain has difficulty pausing and stopping between the thought and then the action. It just jumps right into the action, no matter what the consequences may be, good or bad. Most parents react like this. What are you doing? Why did you do that? How has been the response when you ask stuff like that? Probably your kid doesn't want to respond and they're not being very helpful giving you information. Am I right? Try this instead. Hi, so uh, what were you trying to do? Ooh, what inspired you to do that? How did it work out for you? Was this a good decision or a bad decision? So going forward next time, how would you do things differently? These questions have been broken down into three categories. The first one is curiosity. You're asking the child positive spinned questions to find out, okay, so hey, why did you do that? but without judgment. When you start to add the judgment and the, oh my God, what are you doing type attitude? Well, the kid's gonna clam up and not gonna talk to you. Why? Because they're scared of getting in trouble. But they didn't think of that when they started. That is an ADHD issue and there's not a lot you can do to change that. So instead work with them. The second set of questions are asking about, okay, so did you feel this was a good decision or a poor decision? This helps to create that pause between thought and action, even if it's in the aftermath that you're asking, because you're trying to coach your children into learning how to have this pause going forward, but you also need to start coaching them to have the confidence in their own decision-making to be able to pause. That's huge in helping them in their future endeavors as an adhd -er. The third question is asking them about the next time. Okay, would you do this again? Did this work out for you? How can we do things differently next time? You see, when you take the judgment out, you allow the child to open up, have a discussion, and then make better decisions going forward. They won't always make good decisions. <sighs> Not all of us did growing up. But helping your children to gain the confidence to have a pause and to have the confidence in themselves that, hey, I do have some good judgment skills when I stop and think about it. Start training them now. It helps. It really does help. And then it opens up the lines of communication so that it's more of a cooperation instead of a, you did this, you are bad, blah, blah, blah. It's never worked for any kid, ever. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the ADHD Mama page on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and absolutely consider donating to our Patreon. This is our list of Patreons who have helped out in this video. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Bye.